Hello, good afternoon, sir, ma'am. Uh, good afternoon. Yes, uh, kindly introduce yourselves for the benefit of our audience. I'm Tata Medado, president of Asia Pacific College. Yes, and sir. I'm Ramon Di Macari, the chairman of Asia Pacific College. Yeah, and congratulations for the launch of your, you call it APC Cybersecurity Sandbox. So, Thank why you. do you call it Sandbox? For, can you please um, elaborate on it? Okay. There's something very aesthetic about it. Do you remember when you were a child, you were playing with the sandbox? Mm, so, no. Kung hindi sandbox, <laughs> yung, uh, yung, yung sa kalye. Ah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, and what do you do in a sandbox? You, you just play with, you know, whatever is there, available tools. Uh, it might have been pico, it might have been, but, you know, but these mm. are memorable to students. These are the some things that you take with you when you grow up. You never forget that you played Pico, right? You never forget that you found a jewel somewhere in the soil. You never forget that at some point in time you played with so many people who you remember up to this day. That's the idea, the pedagogical principle of a sandbox, that we allow you to become creative. Because in this day and age, there was a question a while ago saying that, uh, are we going to be updating the courses? It's really not a matter of updating the courses because in the sandbox, what grows is creativity and that resiliency that you will learn forever. Yeah, and That's I believe that if you know the basic knowledge already, you can expand from that. You can uh, learn from that. Uh, using, uh, you can uh, re educate yourself study uh, your add additional information exactly. on your exactly. so as long as you have the that time or that opportunity to work on the basics and then play with it like you said so we're like playing with the technology that we'll be, we will be learning here yeah so, and more more importantly in the sandbox are actual scenarios yes so, so, so you'll you solve uh, threat, uh, an actual uh, threat uh, will be in the sandbox you'll figure out how to solve it mm -hmm. how to address it how to mitigate it so you practice that so it's a place where you play with the real world right? so these are uh, events that are contributed by our partner mm -hmm. that they have resolved or they found out so then para na target practice because mm -hmm. you are you know exactly how to handle it when the problem comes in front right. of you. so palo alto will be your exclusive partner on the cybersecurity course so today today yes uh, so you're the thinking of adding today. more no no they're the leader today okay so we are adding on other other uh, other uh, technology courses like uh, ai machine learning RPA. so the different courses, technologies different uh, application technologies that are needed tomorrow mm -hmm. for cyber our partner is palo alto what was the main reason why you added the cybersecurity course uh, in apc well, uh, you, are, you are connected today, all of us are connected today, your exposure is also connected, you know. Mm -hmm. So once you are connected, you are, you are, there will be threats for you. So the idea is how do you protect yourself? So it requires a specialized uh, approach, a specialized program, a specialized understanding of what the threats are, and Palo Alto will be the one to bring that to you because they focus on mitigation, they focus on protection. That's why we need that, so that you are assured as you go 24-7, protection is all over, uh, mm -hmm. safeguarding. But I'm sure you have other partners here, technology partners with, from other brands, right? So they will complement what they will learn here. So well, 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 we don't teach uh, Palo Alto as a, as a product. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We teach the concept of cybersecurity. Yes. Okay. So that applies yes. to all, to all practitioners, mm -hmm. to all products of cybersecurity. But Palo Alto is a partner because they are the leader today. Mm -hmm. They are just one of the leaders. So they have a lot of uh, samples that we can try on. They have a lot of experience. And they have actually curriculum that we can mm -hmm. use. Mm -hmm. That's the reason why we chose Palo Alto. I think this is also special to mention, very good to mention that uh, Asia Pacific College has been protected by Palo Alto for the last three years. Oh, okay. It, they have been in our radar so tried and for tested. a very long time. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, and uh, if you have seen Giorgio Castillo, a while ago, he was the one who actually brought them in APC mm -hmm. for our protection. And then pretty soon after three years, SMIC had mentioned to us, and they're all here, that this is a reliable partner. And therefore, you know, the pieces came together. So it wasn't only Mr. Dimakali, myself, but even our past and of course SMIC, who is a member of our board, this is SM, mm -hmm. uh, had encouraged us to actually sign up with Palo Alto. We met to 
and that you know all of that. Um, it happened so fast, as a matter of fact, within a, a, a two meetings, I believe so, mm -hmm. two yeah. meetings, and then a couple of months, I think two or three months, and here we go. Bam, you have the sandbox. So tell us more on the details of the course. Will it be how how many years? Um, okay, this is something that uh, well is probably not regular or such, okay. shall we say, um, because we're talking about the sandbox. Mm -hmm. The sandbox happens to be an integration of different courses, mm -hmm. whether it's networking, programming, and all of that will have mm -hmm. security implications. And that is why this kind of uh, system of playing mm -hmm. right, says to us that you will be playing security across your courses. Mm -hmm. There can be integrated in that would be certification courses. Mm -hmm. And these are certi certifiable industry skills that our students will acquire over the time that they are here. So aside from the playing and aside from all of this practice, they can earn certification. So they come out of APC with a diploma. Mm -hmm. They are a graduate of certain courses, but they bring with them as well the, mm -hmm. the okay. industry certification. Okay. Most of the certifications are really online. And therefore, if you are in the sandbox and you would need some kind of a training on cybersecurity because the project requires it, they can go online, they can train in cybersecurity as needed. Mm -hmm. Therefore, that's, that's how it is. The other part is that we, the other mechanism would be that we'd like to train cyber cybersecurity for those that we call... Uh, these are the hybrids, meaning if you had another career, you would have to have the rudiments of cybersecurity as well. If you are an engineer, if you are a multimedia artist, if you are a, um, an accountant, so to speak, mm -hmm. if you are in finance, and Mr. Di Makali can speak about that. The world now is not a silo of cybersecurity. Cybersecurity is everywhere. Mm -hmm. The threat is everywhere. The practice should be made or should be done across different fields. And I, I'm giving what Mr. Dimakal has often talked about insurance because he's in that, that business and how important cybersecurity is to insurance. And therefore, when we breed people who will become insurers or will be hired by his company, they are already cybersecurity stamped. Mm -hmm. And I think that's what's more important. Well, it, it, it's, it's required in every aspect of your life. Today we do a lot of electronic payments, right? You use your mobile phone to make yes, payments. Sir. If you are the company that's doing that, you have to think about the threat of the payment system, right? You have to protect yourself. Not only that, you're getting the database and all of your of your customers. You have to protect that database. So it has to be part of your strategy to think about what if my system is hot? What if this payment system is misrouted? That, that's all part. What if my, my collecting system stops? So I don't get to receive payment. So it's not just the technology people, it's the business people. Mm -hmm. Because the moment you start doing electronic collection, electronic connectivities, IOTs, you have to think about mm -hmm. cyber. Mm -hmm. And and that's why in all the courses we embed a subject. It's not just yeah. the sandbox. There's an actual teaching subject mm -hmm. for for cyber. So the rudiments of are you protecting the enterprise? Are you protecting your applications in the cloud? Are you protecting your network? That those will be discussed in your in your course, regardless of whether it's IT or business course. If it is at APC, we will embed that because we want everybody to be conscious about cybersecurity, mm -hmm. and maybe that will help propagate across the the nation and the connected world that cyber is is the hottest item of discussion today. Not yes. only in the board, but all of us who are connected all the time. Right? Yes. Yes, I'm also covering the, the ICT and the OSA yes, events. Yes, so that's yes. one of their high uh, topics that they're introducing to their uh, the, the the, program. The program. Yeah, in fact, the number one program is education. Yes. If you look at their uh, CERT uh, program, the number one highlight is mm -hmm. educating everybody on cyber mm -hmm. to understand what is cyber, how do you protect yourself, and how do you prevent it from happening to you and mm -hmm. your friends and your business, right? So we, we are participating in that program, mm -hmm. provide the education. I was watching the, the video where you were, they were interviewing the students, yeah. right? And they, they have different, uh, they have many, actually there's a various uh, um, 
uh, ideas about cybersecurity, right? right? So right. that includes cyberbullying, yeah, right. yeah. social media, yeah. right? So this would be part of the courses, yeah, yeah. or because if that's injected into the ethical part, mm -hmm. and how do you use the, the 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 social media properly, and how do you protect yourself and, mm -hmm. and your family? Mm -hmm. So that that discussion will be going on in the classroom, because if you take that formally in the class, then you you embrace that in your everyday life, right? Mm -hmm. Because it's part of your learning, mm -hmm. and it was mentioned earlier that that part continues your learning. Mm -hmm. So now when you go to social media, you know, pick the right information, you know, what is fake news. Yeah. Uh, that's yeah. important. <laughs> no? That's important mm -hmm. in our world today. So, you know, which, which email to open, which email not to send, Correct. you know, you, even, even if, if this uh, website uh, corruptible or not, you, you'll, you'll get the training and exposure. Mm -hmm. You mentioned about the, the certification. Is this sim similar to the, what, uh, the Microsoft, the the yes. Cisco certifications where you go to a center and then you have an online examination is that, or you're going to provide it here, right here in APC as well. So they will be doing the exams here yeah. at your yeah. school. Yes. And then, uh, so it will be sort of like, is it the same? So just during my time, it was more of a multiple choice, then there's a simulation, <laughs> like that. Yeah. So when I took the certification yeah. exams, it's yeah. like something like that. You have to learn a lot of the theories, then the laboratory setup, the simulations. Will it, is this the same? Yeah, it's the same. You have to have, you know the principles, mm -hmm. the basic principles, that they'll post you with some possible uh, scenarios mm -hmm. you have to comply. Yeah. So that, that's part of any course, not only the principles, but also scenarios. But, but they will be able to get the certification during or after taking the course here? After. after. It's after the course. I think it's really ah. more like, um, <coughs> sorry, excuse me. It's really more like um, preparing you mm -hmm. okay, for the test while you're doing a project mm -hmm. already. Yeah, but, but, I need but, but actually, <coughs> actually uh, in the course, the, yeah. the course is not geared to certify you. The course is to make you understand mm -hmm. cybersecurity, right? If you want for certification, there is an additional course because that will be more intensive. Just additional mm -hmm. subject, not course. Additional subject to prepare you. So there is, yeah. oh, I did not okay. plastic curriculum. There is actually a curriculum that what you will embed in senior high, what mm -hmm. subjects to teach in college, and what subjects to teach to those who want to have certification. Mm -hmm. Because that will be more intensive, that will mm -hmm. take you through the, the techniques, mm -hmm. you know. Because when you're certified, you are the expert. Yes, yes. Uh, you're yeah. not a generalist, yeah. so you need that specialized course. That will also be taught here, mm -hmm. but that will be at, after you have done the basic, meaning you continue to that. So but they, they will have their own time yeah, deciding yeah, on that, mm -hmm. yeah. meaning that uh, if they want to be their certified, that would be on their own volition. You choose mm -hmm. your career, mm -hmm. and you to us, there is a need for that. Every every company now needs a security officer, right? Mm -hmm. You have a DPO. Right? What about the guy who's going to protect you, right? You need that person <laughs> today, and that's very rare today. Mm -hmm. Only the big companies got them already. So we have to produce a lot of people who will pursue that career. Mm -hmm. And basic understanding of cyber, and then take the advanced courses for cyber. Mm -hmm. This is where Palo Alto comes in yes. now, mm -hmm. more intensively on their techniques, on their uh, concept of focus of their product, so they become certified by Palo Alto as a cyber engineer. Mm -hmm. Okay. So can you tell us more about Asia Pacific? How many students do you have already yeah. currently enrolled? Yeah, we have uh, about 2,000 students at the moment. And you would have to, I, I think you might know right now that this is a, this is a very um, difficult times for higher education mm -hmm. because of the uh, K-12 to uh, integration. Mm -hmm. So we actually do not have graduates in 2020. In okay. 2021, mm -hmm. because uh, we don't have third year and fourth year. Not third year and fourth year. Yeah. So, but the smallness or the uniqueness of APC is that what makes it really um, innovative. That's mm -hmm. what we are. We are guided by actually our three uh, core values. One is innovation. And this is why we don't stop at looking for new ideas. Mm -hmm. And even our students, when they graduate, are should become innovators. Okay. Second is that uh, we value industry. Mm -hmm. Our Mr. C has always been our vision of what an industrious person is. They need to work hard. They need to be hungry. 
for mm -hmm. to be able to become innovative. And third is 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 uh, is very important is integrity. Integrity is the heart of cybersecurity, and we believe that if you don't have that value, if you don't carry that for the rest of your life, you. you will never see the impact of cybersecurity mm -hmm. in everyday life. So I believe that what we are teaching our students are not only the skills, the positioning them for jobs and all that, but the very core of being a good person, an ethical person, mm -hmm. I think would be a fundamental uh, gift, or that would be our fundamental gift, rather, to humanity. Mm -hmm. and, and, and we continue to repeat our courses. Mm -hmm. It's not just IT, we have courses on animation, we have courses on gaming. So mostly digital. digital uh, mostly digital, courses. because we have a lot of immersion. Because you notice uh, many hours of these students are spent in the, in the computer, right? Or our classrooms are wired. Because that, that's life. We want them to be the professional who is using technology to disrupt and become more productive. Mm -hmm. and, and we are now going into that cycle where it, it's not just programming anymore. It's understanding the tools so that you can interpret the data that you have. Because in the end, it is really... Uh, customer experience you know, when they become professionals, customer experience. And you only know that if you have understood the principles of how you provide the service. Okay, so you're offering here from senior high to... Yes, yes. we have senior yeah. high. Yes. So see, we, have about, senior high we, we have about uh, uh, 800, 800 senior, senior high. Senior high. Yes. Okay. And then yeah. plus the about 2,000. Yeah. You also have short courses? Still, uh, we have a graduate school. A graduate right. school. The graduate school is uh, okay. Well, our graduate school is uh, is also very technology enabled. Yeah, it's um, we have master in management. We have uh, master in information technology, master in uh, information system. Mm -hmm. We do have engineering as well. Computer engineering, masters in computer engineering, and. Uh, we have game design, as a matter of fact, in, in the graduate school as well. So they're very current, and it speaks about developing the new, uh, the new, you know, industry person in a very difficult and very uh, disruptive uh, landscape in industry. So when the students graduate here, if they took up the cybersecurity sandbox, uh, they still need to study to be called um, study more or additional. To be called cybersecurity experts, or is, it will, well, it, will not, it be not? not everybody will be trained to be expert. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. You don't need all the experts to be part of your cybersecurity team. Right? Mm -hmm. You need people who understands the business, the basics of, of uh, cybersecurity. Because tomorrow they will not all be looking for hackers. Mm -hmm. They're looking for how to deploy the application. Okay. That's the basis. The team that you will get here are people who have walked through the concept and understood the protection and mitigation, mm -hmm. understood how to fix this, and how to identify the threats, right? Mm -hmm. So the experts are the ones who will lead the technical part. They are the ones who will take the extra courses. But remember, mm -hmm. uh, this is these people will end up in the most likely their partner institutions, the one mm -hmm. that gave them the internship. So they will be deployed according to the talent they learn in that particular internship program, which, you know, these are big companies, Accenture, SGB, Citibank, so they, they know the exposure and they become part of the team. The other, mention, uh, the other thing to mention is that we also do specialized on-site courses, like we, we done to tell us, right? Where, yes. where as required, if you have enough number, we can go there and teach your, your staff. We mm -hmm. call them after five. Class. It's an extension class. Mm -hmm. That's important because they don't have to commute. They can be there right away, and our professors can go there and do the teaching. Just mm -hmm. as we have extension courses now with National University, right? So in Purdue, we are teaching APC courses, but it's called in, uh, per, NU Purdue. But there is an APC course there, and there's a faculty that teaches the courses that we have. Mm -hmm. And you get an APC diploma. That will be the same in MOA. Mm -hmm. There's a MOA NU, right? But inside there are courses from APC and in Laguna. So the idea is to bring it closer to the people, to the students, so they have an opportunity to uh, take our courses without having to come to, to Magallanes, to mm -hmm. the headquarters. Of, uh, yeah, probably it's probably the same setup that I did here. I used to work here, so 
I was assigned at Intel. That's right. And I was teaching right. exactly. their employees. Right. But we don't have sandbox then. Now we have. <laughs> yeah, uh, we don't have sandbox okay. then. In fact, if I mention the, the sandbox that we have for Microsoft, we use that to help the Pasay High School. Mm -hmm. The Pasay High School students come to ABC sure, they're here now. and play in our sandbox. Did you see that? Did you see oh, that? They're here. They're here. They're that's here. Uh, they're that's here. high school. The high school. High Not school. our high school. It's high school. It's Pasay is Pasay uh, Philippine right Science. No, no. Oh. Philipp uh, these are about Pasay City. four schools. Public school. Public, public school school. system of Pasay. Ah. The entire Pasay City. Oh. Of Pasay. High Pasay. System. Pasay. Sorry, I say yeah. it. <laughs> I thought Pasay. <laughs> so it's Pasay. Pasay, Pasay High yes. School. Okay. So they yes. have this course in senior high school mm -hmm. where they have to do boot camps. Mm -hmm. okay. Okay. But we are now the partner of uh, the Department of Education in Pasay to mm -hmm. hold the boot camp here. So all of these students that you see right now here in this room, uh, from Pasay. they're from Pasay. Mm, okay. Yes. And we help them because we beam internet to their school, mm -hmm. and we, we for free or uh, for yeah. free. And we solicited oh, really? uh, donation for their uh, workshop. We oh, put up a laboratory okay. room in Pasay. Mm. Because that's our goal, right? You mm. we expand and spread we, we spread the learning, and mm. uh, hopefully someday they'll come to us and be part of ABC. Because mm. they're just across the fence, right? Yeah. <laughs> so it may be Walking distance from yeah, your right. place. Right. Okay, so um, before we end this interview, um, we have an iconic shout out. Uh, before that, thank you, uh, thank you very much for uh, having me here. And congratulations again for the launch. So hopefully uh, I get to return here and probably oh, wow. oh, yeah, of course. probably so, witness one of the classes. Of course. Why not? Why yes. not? And, yes. and, and I, I'd like to personally thank you for the mm -hmm. opportunity to talk a little bit about ABC, what we're trying to do. Because here we have real projects, mm -hmm. real learning. And yes. with the help of our industry partners, we're able to deliver that to our students. Because, you know, the youth must be inspired. Correct. So the commitment to grow our country will be there. And the only way you can do that is continuing education. Mm -hmm. So, maraming salamat for this feature. So, we have an iconic shout out on the count of three. What is that sound? You have to shout, What's up, Filipinas? And then say your last messages or invite or whatever you want to say at the end. Okay, so okay. your last words. Okay, so on the count of three, What's up, Filipinas? Okay, What's up, Filipinas? That's a slang for what's up. What's up, Filipinas? What's up? What's up? The slang for what's up. Oh, yeah, yeah. What's up? What's yeah. up, Filipinas? What's up, Filipinas? You both better. have to say it <laughs> at, at the same, same time. time. Okay. Yes. Okay. And then, one and then each one, action. say the say, last message. Say you at ABC. Yeah, 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 right. Okay. Yeah. Okay, okay, one. You look at the camera now. Okay. So, one, two, three. What's, what's up, up Filipinas? Filipinas? See, see you at ABC. ABC. <laughs> Thank you.